I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. So let me thank all my subscribers for posting excellent questions and taking keen interest in my YouTube channel. The question here is, the two positive numbers whose product is 36 and some of their cubes is minimum. So we have to find two positive numbers whose product is 36 and some of their cubes is a minimum. So let those numbers be x and y. Then we can say x cube plus y cube is minimum. Right. And second condition which we have is two positive numbers whose product is 36. The product of x and y is equal to 36. So that is the condition given to us. Now how do we do it? Well, we are going to apply implicit derivation here to solve this question. We have two different equations. We want minimum for x cubed plus y cube. Let me relate dx dy from equation number 2 here. So we have x times y equals to 36. So if I differentiate this equation with respect to x, that means I'll differentiate this equation with respect to x, then what will I get? Both sides. So we'll apply the product rule. So we have dx over dx times y plus x times dy dx, correct? Equals to d dx of 36. Now, this is y. So we have y equals to y plus x dy dx equals to 0, since derivative of a constant is 0. Now we can rearrange a right dy dx in terms of x and y. So taking y on this side, we get minus y, then divide by x. So that becomes dy dx in terms of of x and y. Now let us look into the first equation given to us. We want to minimize the sum of cubes, right? So, so we want to minimize the sum which is x cubed plus y cubed, right? So that means the derivative of this uh, should be zero, we'll find a critical point here. So let's find a critical number. So again, differentiating with respect to x, let's call this variable as sum, okay. Then what do we get? We get ds over dx as equals to, when you take derivative, this becomes 3x squared and here we get 3y squared dy dx. Now for a critical number, this derivative should be 0, right? So we'll equate ds dx to 0. So the first derivative we are equating to 0. So we get 0 equals to 3x squared plus 3y squared and dy dx we just found as minus y over x. So we'll write this as minus y over x. So, so that gives us, so minus makes this negative. So we have 0 equals to 3x squared uh, minus 3y cubed over over x, right? So, over x. So, that is what we get. Now, we need equation in only y. So, so, we'll isolate y from here and we can write y equals to 36 over x. So, we also know y is equals to 36 over x. So, from here, we isolated y we can substitute this y here. 
Now you will also notice that if I take, let me first uh, change this, right? So we'll write this as 3x square minus uh, 3. We'll change y to, so we have 3 here, 3 over x, let me write like this. And y cube, 36 over, over x whole cube. That is y cube, right? 36 over x whole cube. So, so we get that expression here. So 3 over x, 36 over this. Now, to make this equal to 0, uh, this is x to the power of 4 in the denominator, right? So we can take 3, 3 is common, over x to the power of 4, because that is x cube and this perfect so what we get here is x to the power of uh, 2 plus 4 gives us 6 right and here we have 36 cube so let me write this as minus 36 cube correct so that is what we get here now for this expression to be 0 x to the power of 6 should be equal to 36 cube, correct? Or, or this implies that x should be equal to 36 to the power of half, correct? 6 divided by, I mean 3 divided by 6, which is half. And that gives you the answer as 6, correct? So x is equal to 6. Now, since x is 6, what should be y? Now, since x is 6, we can write 6 here. 36 divided by 6 is also 6, right? So, this is because we just found that x is equal to 6, and therefore, y is also 6. So, find two positive numbers whose product is 36. In fact, we got both as 6. So, the numbers are 6 and and 6. Now, how do we say that it will result into a minimum? That's another important thing to understand. Now, if I take derivative of this function here, of which may be written like this, let me just show you on the right side. So, what we have here is that the first derivative of the sum is 3x squared minus all this, which is a constant, let's say 3 times 36 cubed over x to the power of 4, right? Second derivative for this function is going to be 6x, and that is in the denominator, so minus 4. That will make this as positive, correct? Uh, positive 4 times 3 is 12, times 36 cubed, and minus 4 minus 1 will give me x to the power of 5 here, correct? So you know this second derivative is actually greater than zero right for any positive two positive numbers right so this second derivative is greater than zero and that means it's a concave up right and that means minimum correct and therefore our answer is that the numbers are six and six perfect so that is how you can actually solve this question so I hope that makes sense to positive numbers, both are 6 in our case. So that's the result. Feel free to share your comments and views. And if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thanks and all the best.